Hello once again YouTube, Duke Nukem2417 here. Now, the last video I posted before the DVD review, Rosemary vs. Alley, Demon vs. the Slayer, at the start of that last video, I made the claim that I wasn't going to be able to do more Mujin videos in the near future. Fortunately, that claim has since been proven false, because I was able to alter a setting in Bandicam, and that one particular setting was probably what was causing the problem. That setting specifically was, for game recording mode, skip recording while frame is not updated. In the latest version of Bandicam that I installed a few weeks ago, the box for that option, skip recording while frame is not updated, was in fact checked. I have since unchecked that box, and I actually recorded a Mujin test video with Bandicam, cropped it, even tried to pause it to where it would cut out what I thought was causing the problem within Mujin itself, more on that in a bit, I tried to pause the recording to eliminate that problem, which didn't work, but the video still recorded, and even better, in AVI Demux, when I went to crop the video and actually save it as an MP4 file, it actually saved without any problems. Now, the whole thing of there being something in Mugen itself that causes the recording via Bandicam to screw up is pretty much at the end of every round in a fight, after the fighters have said their post-round victory quote thingy, the screen fades to black briefly and then fades back in. That, I think, counts as the frame not updating, like in that option that was checked in Bandicam and was screwing up Mujin videos. By unchecking that option, even while the frame wasn't updating when the screen was fading to black and then fading back in, it would still record properly. And as such, the Mujin test video that I recorded, even though I wasn't able to pause recording to avoid the screen cutting to black and then fading back in, the video still came out okay. The same cannot be said for a project that I have been trying to record multiple takes of, a video about a prototype Sega Genesis game called Zombie High, and I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get that video up on my channel because I can't freaking finish recording it. <laughs> and because it's a pro- I'm not even going to say any more about it. If I can record the video, I will put it up to this channel, and you will all be able to see how insane it is. If not, eh. <laughs> Anyway, I mentioned at the beginning of this video the whole DVD review of Rosemary vs. Ali, Demon vs. The Slayer from Smash Wrestling. Now, that video has actually been viewed several times. At last count, it was viewed at least 30-something times. 38, maybe, or 32, or something along... It's 30-something, I know that much. I don't remember the specific number. It might actually surpass my thoughts on John Cena being cast as Duke Nukem in terms of views soon, so... I don't have a problem with that. That's great. My problem with that video is not that the narration wasn't done by me. I don't have a problem with letting my brother narrate the video. The problem is, as a friend of mine told me after they viewed the video, his narration was not exactly dynamic. Like, I'm talking right now, I'm using different inflections and different pitches, or I'm varying my voice when I speak. In one syllable I go high, the next syllable I go low. You know, stuff like that. I sound like I'm actually enjoying speaking in front of a microphone, or behind a microphone, whatever. I sound like I'm a natural at this, because I kind of am. But then we get to how my brother did the narration for his video, which is like this. He just spoke in a very flat tone that sounded almost kind of boring. I can't keep doing that! You see, I can't do- I have to try to sound that bored! <laughs> I have to- I have to make an effort to sound that bored. He, he- it was his first video. I expected him to sound nervous. I didn't expect him to sound so freaking bored. And he's older than me, by the way, for anyone wondering. He's my older brother, so. And the 13 minute 50 something second cut of the video you all saw and heard, be lucky it was a 13 minute cut, because I had to edit down the audio for that 13 minute cut from 30 minutes, which was 30 minutes of, uh, um, uh, 30 minutes of that, 30 minutes of awkward pauses, 30 minutes of me reminding him what he intended to say next, he didn't have a script, I'm not trying to bash him or his narration. I'm just saying that for everyone who wondered why that video sounded so different compared to my usual work, that's why. It was the first video he had ever narrated. It was the first bit of narration he'd ever done for anything for a recorded piece of media. And needless to say, it shows. So, And another thing, he talked slowly at times. So some of the parts where it sounds sped up and unnatural, I did that on purpose in Audacity to cut down on the video time from 30 minutes to 13 minutes and 56 seconds, okay? I had to do that, but... <sighs> he likes the final output of the video. He likes how the video turned out. I guess it's acceptable, but... 
for those of you who liked the video and for those of you who have given it a thumbs up or whatever, for those of you who have left positive comments, thank you. For those who wondered why the hell the narration sounded the way it did, now you know. Anyway, I've mentioned that I'm going to be doing more Mujin videos, which is good. I mentioned and explained the whole reason why the narration of the Rosemary vs. Sally DVD review was the way it was. And that's, actually, that's not all I have to say, because there is a project coming from Duke4.net that I will be doing a video on as soon as it launches. The likes of Trooper Dan, and forgive me if I'm pronouncing this one wrong, Merlin van Oostrum, a very talented Duke Nukem 3D mapper, who also worked on the, the AMC Squad TC. Those two, Trooper Dan, Merlin van Oostrum, Sebab Duke Boss 20 a very, very talented sprite artist, and a lot of other people are contributing to a Duke Nukem 3D mod called Duke Nukem Alien Armageddon. I will be linking to Trooper Dan's channel in the description. It is freaking glorious. I am not even kidding. This, the test videos I've seen, these are just test videos that I've seen so far. It is amazing. Sebab Duke Boss 20's sprite work is beautiful, and it's weird to say that about things like octobrains with 20 or 30 tentacles and massive brains behind them, or armored pig cops that can dash at you and stuff like that, or female alien snipers based on actual Duke Nukem 3D concept art. That's the thing, a lot of these enemies in this project are going to be based on Duke Nukem 3D concept art. That's the freaking awesome thing about this. There's, I don't even, I don't even, I don't want to say too much about it because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. It's not out yet, but it's going to be releasing on July 1st, I think, of this year. It's going to be July this year. I don't know the exact date, but it will be out in July of this year. I am so freaking psyched for this Duke Nukem Alien Armageddon. But I will say this one more thing about it, though. Remember Bombshell? Not the Bombshell from the 3D Realms game that was recently released. The one with the robotic arm and all that stuff. I mean Bombshell as in the female counterpart slash sidekick to Duke Nukem, who was going to be in various versions of Duke Nukem Forever before it got picked up by Gearbox. That version of Bombshell, Duke's female counterpart, sidekick, whatever you want to call her, she is going to be in Duke Nukem Alien Armageddon. With sprites done by Sebab Duke Boss 20, I cannot freaking wait. I am going to be doing a video series on this mod. I am so... If I sound excited about this, it's because I am. <laughs> it's like... It's everything I have ever wanted in a Duke Nukem 3D mod. New enemies, a freaking sidekick character, possibly new weapons. Oh, I am so psyched! I am so psyched for Duke Nukem Alien Armageddon. So yeah, this has been a sort of update video, I guess, for my channel. Talking about how I will be doing Mujin videos, explaining the narration of the DVD review for Rosemary vs. Alley, and expressing my utter euphoria over the impending release of Duke Nukem Alien Armageddon, which I definitely look forward to. That is all from me for this particular video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more. Hail to the king, baby!